Railroad. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at Portland Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip, you need to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your children. Bienvenidos a bordo del Disneyland Railroad. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Our first stop is New Orleans Square Station. But to get there, we need to pass through the wilds of Adventureland. It may seem peaceful through here, but trust me, it's a real jungle out there. Literally. So be on the lookout. You just never know what might be lurking along the rails. <laughs> just ahead is New Orleans Square Station. This station also serves Frontierland and Critter Country. If you'll be leaving us here, please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Then watch your step as you're getting off. For those of you continuing on with us, we'll be resuming our trip in just a moment. This is New Orleans Square Station. New Orleans Square. To those just joining us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. We're now entering the bayou, soon to be home to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Princess Tiana swears there's magic out here. And wherever there's magic, there's bound to be surprises. Blue skies and sunshine guaranteed. As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, the last outpost in these parts, we're now joining up with the Rivers of America and entering the frontier as it looked more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. Please remain seated while Mr. Moon is moving. 
building stories with those in the Great River Valley below. People like you have been riding these rails since the 1800s, traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, rather than the months it used to take by mule or stagecoach. Steam power not only fuels the entire forces, but the dreams of a whole new generation moved west to this great frontier. Of course, some of those dreams, and the stories that went with them, were pretty darn wild and downright unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining trains and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. signals our transition from the frontier to another kind of ear. The ones you'll find on Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Our next stop is Toontown Depot, official train station for Mickey's Toontown, the cartoon home where Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends live. Toontown Depot is also the gateway to Fantasyland, where you'll find many of your favorite Disney animated characters and stories. If you're leaving... Please remain seated while the vehicle is still completely and then step carefully from the train. Have fun, and say hi to Mickey and Minnie for me. Those of you continuing on with us, we'll be resuming our trip in just a moment. This is Toontown Depot, Mickey's Toontown.
with your seatbelt fastened. Permanecer sentados, por favor. Children, so our story doesn't make any unexpected turns. Here's a wheel. Now, most people will travel the stories through the pages of a book, but when you're spelling first, the message can be a bit pathological or even menacing. But personally, as I like to say, when there's a whale, there's a way. And while it may seem like we're being swallowed by the jaws of Monster the Whale, the very same whale that swallowed Pinocchio, don't worry, friends, he's simply helping to transport us into the magical world of Story the Clown. Now, both good stories can start with Once Upon a Time, but ours begins with a big bad wolf who lives in the cave to our left-hand side. He's always chasing after the three little pigs, but don't worry, friends, they live safely across the way in their three houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of 100% guaranteed wolf-proof brick. And just around the river bend, our story is already taking quite a strange turn. For coming up on our left-hand side, you'll see a quaint English village where a little girl named Alice lived. One golden afternoon, she decided to follow the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, and down, down, down she fell into Wonderland, where things only became seriouser and seriouser. But if Wonderland isn't your cup of tea, look no further than the second star to your right hand side, and you'll see London Park with Peter Pan and the darling children Wendy, Michael, and John went flying over. With safe trust and Dixie Dust from Tinkerbell, they were off to Neverland, where they would never grow up. And just up ahead, we have the city of Algrabah and the very same marketplace where it's just rattling the Latin first the heart of Princess Jasmine. The only two were from two different worlds, the home of their friend, but an all-powerful genie. True love prevailed, and they lived happily ever after in the Sultan's Palace. Love shines in places like these, just like the twinkling lights that shine in the golden archways above us. The very same archways that Jasmine and Aladdin went soaring over on their amp sideways through. On that magic coach ride right to a whole new world. Oh, yeah. And while these stories have their pages full of hope and light, they have their dark pages as well, such as the Cave of Wonders, which is home to a treasure with a curse that can only be lifted by the all-powerful genie of the lamp. Now, legend has it that those who greeted Jeannie from his lamp were granted three wishes. Maybe Queen Angel would find now, which might even come true. No wife wished for a safe place to stay after fleeing from her mother, the evil queen, and came across the cottage on the page to our right. Home of the seven dwarves who granted herself in exchange for her kindness. Meanwhile, on the page to our left, Cinderella wished to go in the ball, but was forbidden to do so by her wicked stepmother. Thankfully, her fairy godmother was there to grant her wish, and she danced the night away with her prince charming until the stroke of midnight, when her carriage turned back into a pumpkin, which can be seen on the roads today. Now, while magic might have its limits, thankfully, true love does not, as Cinderella and her prince were reunited, and they lived happily ever after. So, wishes here in Story of the Land are often inspired by dreams. Whether these are dreams of happily ever afters or dreams of falling asleep amongst rolling hills of patchwork plants, just like the ones on our left hand side, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon Plum of Island. Our very miniature, very real plants will never grow up thanks to the pixie dust of our fairy friend and gardener Tinkerbell, and it's details like these that made this place a favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney. Now, I've personally heard some stories about some pretty bad drivers, but none of them as terrible as Jay, Daddy, and Toad, whose man we are approaching on our left-hand side. We could try and knock, but he's probably not home from. Mr. Toad is usually off on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. And just up ahead, we have the kingdom of Arendelle, where Queen Elsa's ice palace sits atop the frozen fjords. It's here that her, sister Anna, and their friends Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven, 
first three to throw a left kickoff are frozen hard. Meanwhile, in our Alpine Village across the way, toy maker Geppetto wished upon a star for his puppet to become a real boy. After Pinocchio saved them both from the jaws of monster of the whale, the blue fairy was more than happy to make their dreams come true. And our final story begins when a little mermaid named Ariel traded her fins for their life and took her first shaky steps on land to become a part of our world. So her story ends on land and begins just to our left. So behind our waterfall, you might have to go to Atlanta, where her father came to her, and her 50 friends, Clouder, and Sebastian were And as we close the final chapter in our story book, as we approach the dock, we ask that you remain seated, using all hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat, until we reach a complete stop. At which point, I will ask you all to stand up together on my count of three, in the center of the boat for balance, to make sure none of us have to take a trip up there this sea. On behalf of myself and all the storytellers here, we hope you enjoyed your visit to Storybook Land today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here at the Disneyland Resort.
Snow White, huh? Well then, to be sure you are safe inside and don't see it.
parado hasta que el bote se detenga en el muelle y se le pida que desembarque. Gracias. Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you. It's a dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you. Veuillez rester assis jusqu'à l'arrêt complet du bateau et attendez jusqu'à ce que l'hôte ou l'hôtesse vous demande de descendre. Merci. Por favor, permanezca sentado hasta que el bote se detenga en el muelle y se le pida que desembarque. Gracias. Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock and you are asked to descend. Please remain seated with all hands, arms, feet, and legs at the vehicle. Parents, please supervise your children. Small guests, please. Please sit away from the train opening or on the Thank you, parents. Thanks for joining us on the Disneyland Railroad. For a safe ride, remember to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. ¿Qué tal amigos? Y bienvenidos a bordo. Para su seguridad, permanezca. Tenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Oh, fantasy land. You can see people stepping onto It's a Small World just below us. And, off in the distance, majestic Matterhorn Mountain. steaming forward into the future to a land inspired by visions of tomorrow, both practical and imagined. Here you'll find rocket ships and star speeders, submarines and astroblasters, and if you look overhead, maybe a glimpse of a Mark 7 monorail. This is the latest version of the first daily operating monorail system in the entire Western Hemisphere, gliding above Disneyland since 1959. Below the monorail, and us, are the fun-filled roadways of the Autopia. Drivers of all ages can get behind the wheel of these cars. No experience or license required. If you're into soaring spaceships, or doing battle with evil empires and emperors, Tomorrowland is definitely the place for you. Speaking of which, we're pulling into Tomorrowland Station right now. If you're leaving us here, just stay seated until we come to a full stop. Gather your belongings, including lightsabers and astroblasters, and step carefully from the train. Thanks, and have fun in the future. For the rest of you, just sit tight. We'll be on our way again in just a minute.
stations. Report to the flight deck for immediate launch to infinity and beyond. Scanners detecting more trouble in Sector 9. No doubt it's the work of that nefarious crew, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zerg. His robotic army is stealing the historic fusion power cells.
please do dispatch quickly. So if you or someone in your party needs extra assistance today, please ask for our flight attendant. Once you have space for something, some of the ads are all great functions. Please be removed prior to boarding.
ahead one third. All ahead one third. Stand by to dive. Diving stations. Pressure in the boat. Rescue readings are normal. Flood the main ballast tank. Let's take her down. Dive. Dive. Take it down easy. Trimming bow diving planes. Three degrees down. Catch her at 10 fathoms. Steer 30 degrees. Right run up 30 degrees. All ahead full. Steady as she goes. G'day. This is the captain speaking. Now that we're on the way, I'd like to welcome you all board. As the conditions of our voyage may be unpredictable, please remain seated at all times. As we leave the coast behind and head towards open water, you'll notice that this is a popular spot for divers searching for exotic fish. today is quite extraordinary, a newly erupting deep water volcano. Even here in the shallows, we can see evidence of such geothermal forces constantly at work. These remnants of an ancient civilization were hidden for centuries beneath the ocean floor, hidden until unearthed by a tremendous volcanic event Steer four zero degrees. Right runner, four zero degrees. Mind your distance to port and starboard. Aye, aye, sir. As we leave this long lost community behind, we're about to enter a community of a different kind, the Coral Reef. Australia's Great Barrier Reef stretches over 2,000 kilometres. considered a silent habitat. But now, thanks to remarkable advances in marine technology, we can use instruments such as our sonar hydrophones to actually hear the fish talk.
No, mate, forget it. Nobody would believe it anyway. We better take her up before we have a run in with a sea serpent or an encounter with a mermaid. Aye, aye, We are surfacing and approaching our home port. We've enjoyed having you aboard on this adventurous voyage. Thanks for joining us and have a top day. Step, 
and exit to the left of the monorail. Thanks for traveling with us today, and we hope you enjoy your visit to the Disneyland Resort. For those of you continuing with us, we'll begin our return trip to Tomorrowland in just a few minutes. Yeah. We didn't go to the park. First day was on Sunday. Of course, it was in. We were tracking 
days. Same we have one more day today and tomorrow at the park, and then we leave on the third time. You guys staying close by? We're in, at the Grand California. Same with us, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah we're, we want them to open the pool. Same. We don't care if it's raining. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I called the desk. I'm like, why is it closed? I know. It's in weather. I'm like, this is an in oh, weather. Oh, it's closed to all in general? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I was like, it's not, though. It's just raining. Yeah, yeah. I was in the hot tub and rain. I was bumming close to 8, too, the hot tub, even if it was open. Oh, that's too late. After I'd be walking around, like, we're sore, we need to sit in that hot tub. It should be open two hours past the end of the park. Now you don't want to fit the tub together. Should it close? Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Por favor, no tome fotografías con flash. today. But it wasn't always this way. Now, let's travel back in time, way back in time, to the fantastic past of the primeval world, land of the dinosaurs. to our own time and to Main Street Station, gateway to Disneyland. If you're leaving, 
And step carefully from the train. I'd especially like to thank those of you who've been with me for the Grand Circle Tour of Disneyland. We hope you enjoyed your travels with us. You'll come back to ride with us again real soon. For those of you staying with us, we'll be on our way again in just a few minutes. This is Main Street Station, Main Street, USA. Suddenly, it is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Now, my friends, one final word of advice. Once you've entered the chamber of destiny, look not into the eyes of the idol. That would be dangerous. Very dangerous. Well, my friends, your moment is drawing near. Already I am envious of the wonders that await you, if you avoid the eyes of Mara, that is.
live on the dock. No, I have goodbye to everybody else. Bye! <laughs> You'll never see them again. Welcome to the World Famous Jungle Cruise. My name's Abigail. I'll be a skipper for as far as I can get. There's three main roles here in the jungle. Row number one, do not fall in love with me. I have commitment issues. Row number two, do not jump in the water. I can't swim. And row number three, please do remain seated with your arms and legs inside the boat and watch your children. Children! Watch your parents. I don't trust them. We're just passing by the Amazon rainforest. You guys feel that? You feel that? Yeah, no, I missed it. Right here on the right hand side, it is our first time to wildlife. Ooh. Uh, they stand on their two hind legs, the turkey legs, and wait in extremely long lines. Yeah, but don't let the cute and curly ones fool you. They will latch on to you for 18 to 35 years and they will never let you go. I know, it's what my mom told me when I was supposed to move out of the house <laughs> three years ago. Oh, coming up ahead here on the left hand side, it is our Indo Chinese tiger. Now, these tigers can actually weigh up to 500 pounds and have a 20 foot vertical leap. Isn't that amazing? And then here are my three besties from high school. Hey guys, hi. Oh, and be careful with this here. Did you stop? Yeah, no, she is one tough cookie. No, I'm sorry, that's a crummy joke. Uh, can I just keep milking it? Now we're heading into the Indian elephant bathing pool. Now you can take as many pictures as you want. They do have their trunks on. Oh, and would you look at that? The whole herd is here. That's unheard of. These elephants, they too, go up to 500 pounds and have a 20 foot vertical leap. Isn't that amazing? Last time my mom tells me I should have taken long showers so at this point. <laughs> I don't shower. Whoa, squirt, get down, buddy. Get down, get down, get down, get down. I said I don't shower. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, no, he's coming back up already, Doc. I'm not kidding. 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 I'm just kidding. Trust me, I never put you in any sort of danger. Well, that's dangerous. Let's get closer. Oh, no. Would you look who's here to pay me a visit? It's my in-laws. Yeah, but do you guys want to know what's the main difference between in-laws and outlaws? Uh, outlaws are wanted. So my in-laws, they too, come up to 500 pounds and have a 20 foot vertical leap. Isn't that amazing? Over here we have some bamboo. That bamboo is four stories tall, but we brought in an extra, and he says it was five stories. Yeah, but that's a whole other story. Now right up ahead we have the glistening Schweitzer Falls. I'm Dr. Famous Archaeologist, Dr. Albert Falls. But we'll go over that later. Now we're heading down the Nile River, now the Nile River, can I see an Albert Isles? And Isles. And Isles. And if you don't believe me, you're right. Uh, just the least, since y'all want to take my joke so badly. Yeah. Okay. Here we have two beautiful African bull elephants. So I'm talking about the African bull elephant. They can also weigh up to 500 pounds and have a 20 foot vertical leap. Isn't that amazing? All right, Bubba, we're gonna do a trick, okay? Speak! Louder! Good job, Bobo! I taught him that trick myself. All right, now we're gonna head into the gorgeous African belt. Let me tell you, this place is strange. You're gonna see gazelles, zebras, giraffes, and wildebeest, but you won't see any koalas. You wanna know why? Uh, they weren't qualified. And here we have a pack of lions protecting a sleeping zebra. Everybody say, aww. Aww. It looks dead. Tired. Oh, here we have a rhino. He's rising. Right At the bottom of the pole there, that's my dear friend Skipper Felix. So back today with his first day. Yeah, it's probably his last. <laughs> I was told that I should enjoy the boat backwards because I'm probably making wrong turns, but I would never do that. I've actually been driving these boats for years, and I know this jungle like the back of my head. I made a wrong turn. Don't worry, I'll scare them off with this. Okay, everybody, cover your ears! Okay, that didn't work. You know what? Let me try these guns instead. Wow, that scared them stiff. <laughs> I look at the hippos up in the trees. No, I have the hippos up in the trees. 
for your safety, remain seated between your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And watch the children and no bashing to Prepare to make sale. You believe it's all just going to make sale. Like Yeah, paid for that. <laughs> God. I can't even see it. I have speckles of water on my glasses.
tell only me what's got the good
sink is my tigger's like pet. So please stay in your seat. Dry hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And grown up types, please watch your little kids. <laughs> Teach your men. Ta ta for now.
Thomas and Walter. Good. Should you be in for prep? Recruit, thank you for joining the calls. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine number nine shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Pakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Stand clear. Dead doors opening now. Everyone, up, now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never came to the right. Take the right. Welcome 
getting in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, you resist this now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Line up, scatter his pods again. Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on back. We're tracking next part of the wreckage, sir. Lieutenant, yeah. back here. Back, the line. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo. Yes, R5, you too. <laughs>
you see, just as I promised, my friend. Come on, let's get another container of coaxia. Pilot, line up behind the train so we can harpoon that last car. It's behind the train. Pilot, into the center. Fly the engineers. Fire the harpoons and reel us in. Engineers, hit your flashing button. Well, it's harder than it looks. rail or placing of young sailors upon them and the young ones must be watched at all times the waters be cold and deep and our crew cannot swim a stroke so whosoever falls overboard will be staying overboard and it will be duly noted in the ship's log lost at sea since this is a fine wooden ship you may not smoke or be starting any on deck fires the only fire permitted on board is in the galley, under the watchful eye of the cook. Atención, marineros. Para que tengan un viaje seguro, no se sienten ni sienten a sus hijos en las barandillas exteriores. Asegúrense de vigilar a sus hijos y absténganse de fumar. Gracias. Now look lively, mates, for we are sailing with the tide, and the tide waits for no one. Port watch, up with the spanker, unfurl the spirit sail. All hands, ease the weather braces. We sail a true course, south by southwest. Oh, the smartest clipper you can find. A big a hole, a new most done. It's the larger than Evans of the black tax line. So clear away the track with the boats and run with the hay rate jake and a low back car. A big a hole, a new most done. When the time comes round to say farewell, I'll ah, be a foe, oh, I'll do most done to say goodbye and wish them well. So clear away the track that the whole time run with the hay, make a jake in a low back car. I'll ah, be a foe, oh, I'll do most done to fly for me all our time be. So clear away the track that the whole time run. Ahoy, shipmates! We're just clearing the busy port of New Orleans and beginning our journey into the great American wilderness. Our vessel for this voyage is the proud sailing ship Columbia, the first American ship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. She's a 10-gun, three-masted merchant ship. It was back in 1787 that she first set sail from Boston Harbor, going all the way around the Horn, then sailing onward to the Pacific Northwest 
Hawaii, and China. In the three years it took us to make that journey, the Columbia was more than just a ship to us. She was our life and our home. Ford Midships is the main hatchway leading below decks, where you may see how we lived and worked on the high seas. The galley, captain and crew's quarters are open for your inspection. For the rest of you, we invite you to stay up on deck, feel the wind in your face, and experience the wonders of this land we now know as America. One more day, my darling, one more day, for I can go be over. One more day, only one more day, my darling, one more day, for I can go be over. Fair ship, the Columbia, was one of the first American vessels to explore the Pacific Northwest. It was in 1792 that this very ship braved the sandbar and discovered a mighty river, which we named the Columbia, after the first ship to sail our waters. Just ahead is the most treacherous part of our journey. That island off the starboard side often hides the scourge of the seas. Bloodthirsty pirates. They sometimes lie in wait to attack a passing ship such as ours and steal its bounty. Bowman, man the starboard foxhole cannon and prepare to fire a warning shot so as any curious pirates hiding near the shore will know we are well armed. Those of you around the cannon best be stepping back, way back. For the cannon, she be a mite loud, and the gunner's aim be a mite poor. Make ready to fire one. Fire one. That should put some fear in them. Looks like we're safe for now, but I ask all crew and passengers to keep a weather eye out. We don't want the Jolly Roger flying above this fine ship. When we travel this far upriver, 
Our ship often draws the attention of the local tribes. Uh, look there. The chief has given us a sign of peace, which means we will be granted safe passage. Plains Indians has set up camp by the river. Since they have no written language, tribal leaders like that wise shaman on the bluff over there pass down their wisdom and knowledge through stories and songs. During our voyages, we sometimes stop to barter and trade with these local tribes. Villages like this one have helped many an explorer learn how to survive in this vast frontier. It is time we be setting sail for home. Pull taut the flying jib. Brace for a starboard tech. Cook and helpers stand by the pots. Shipmates, if you haven't done so, it is a good time to visit the crew's quarters below decks to see how sailors of the 1790s lived and worked while on the high seas. The lower decks will be closing when we enter port. Those of you remaining on deck, keep a close eye on the riverbanks where you may be able to see moose elk and other wildlife. starboard are the last remains of an old shipwreck rumored to carry a fortune in pirates gold it lies in smugglers cove a place of dark and dangerous deeds and secret midnight meetings we'd best be sailing past this cove and back to civilization to go ashore. Yard man aloft into the foot ropes. Furl the top gallants. Down with the flying jib. Make ready the bow anchor. 
Stand by all lines. Stand by the bow line, port side. Let go the bow anchor. Let go the cage. Crew, it's been a pleasure serving with you aboard the sailing ship Columbia. The first ship to carry the stars and stripes round the world. You've been a fine crew, and we hope you'll be sailing with us again soon. All hands, prepare to go ashore! Oh, and down the